if I wanted to start a company, I would seriously look at this. Number one, Alexa. Alexa, open Coding JQ videos. Welcome to Coding J. Q, you can ask what the latest video is. What's the latest video? Hello, Coding J. Q's latest video is PyScript, a Python replacement for JavaScript in the browser hashtag shorts hashtag short. Developing and deploying Alexa skills is insanely easy. The Alexa hosted backend supports Python and Node.js, but you can provision your own backend in any language. To deploy an Alexa skill, first you will need an Amazon developer account. Don't worry, signing up is free. Go to the developer console and then Alexa skills. My skill is already live, but you start a new one here. Name your skill something relatively unique and move on to the experience types. I like just using other and custom for a relatively blank slate. For my first skill, I chose Python. First section is build. Here we set up the invocation phrases or how the app is open, such as Alexa, open coding JQ videos. Next, we manage our intents. Intents are different sets of actions based on what the user said. Alexa's AI is trying to react to the user's intent. Currently, my only custom intent is to tell the user what the latest Coding JQ video is. We populate the intent with sample phrases that the user might say in order to get Alexa to react in that way. You can also use slots in curly braces, which really act just as a variable that you can use in your follow-on code. You can roll your own backend in the endpoint tab, but I kept the default lambda and moved to the next section, which is code. Here, it's simple to refer to the existing code for the required intents so that you can populate your own. Personally, I just copy and pasted the whole class and then filled in my own code. Make sure to add any dependencies in the requirements file. I used Google's YouTube API. This function uses my API key to fetch the info about the latest video from my channel. I imported it and used it in my latest video intent class. The next section allows you to test your skill with either text or vocal queries. Welcome to Coding J. Q, you can ask what the latest video is. In the distribution tab, you give information about how and where your skill should appear in the Alexa store. Finally, after running validations, we can submit our skill to Amazon to be evaluated and accepted, which mine only took about a day. Now feeling accomplished, remember to hit those like and subscribe buttons. Also, if you think your Alexa skill is worthy, go ahead and set up monetization and watch the bills roll in with a 10% cut to Amazon, of course. You can feel free to try this example skill at home. It's called Coding JQ YouTube, and it's available for free on the Alexa Skills Store. It only has one intent for now, but I'll be sure to add more. If you'd like me to talk more about coding with Alexa, just let me know in the comments below. And thanks for watching.